This looks a little bit older. Extra large, yeah, baby. This was never even open. Yeah, what's this? Look at this. It's nice, smooth, soft. Let's see. Oh, I think that might be. Oh, that's. Oh. Oh, okay, and the Tiffany, yeah, okay, yes, of course, yes, yes, exciting, I know, we're getting to that, but look at all that. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? We are at my facility, my unit right here. One of my two units that I that I currently rent. This is where I put a few of the boxes from the first trailer load that you saw me clear to that, out of that pod. And uh, yeah, if you remember, there was a blue bin and I peeked in it right before I left and I saw a couple Tiffany boxes as well, some other great stuff. Well, I think there's two, four, six, I don't know, six-ish boxes. We're gonna go through those right now and see what we find. Um, it's a little bit later in the day because it's been another blazing hot day here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm thinking it was at least mid 90s, maybe a little bit warmer. But uh, right now, I think it's about 4 p.m. or so. It's getting a little bit cooler and there's a breeze. I'm very thankful for that. So um, yeah, I've got my table cleared. I'm about to set up and uh, let's get started. All right, guys. So what we got here is we got a, a wardrobe box. And I do see clothes. Mm, there's a lot of clothes, actually. A lot, a lot of clothes. And I don't really like that. Although, one thing I must say is that this guy did have some money and he did like some nicer things. So if he's got clothes, I'm gonna assume that they're probably a little bit nicer clothes. Looks like they're all dry clean. Definitely can appreciate that. All right. Okay. Joseph Abu, that's Men's Warehouse. Hugo Boss. I don't know what that is. A squire? I don't know. I don't deal too much in clothes, and as you can tell, I don't really buy clothes that often. Joseph Abu, I know because the last couple suits I bought have been Men's Warehouse. For weddings and whatever. Pet peeve. Number 403, inside out clothes. Okay. Giants, New York. That's actually a nice shirt right here. And it's in nice shape too. Perry Ellis. Oh, an inside out shirt. I don't get it. Kenneth Cole. Alright. This probably doesn't make the most interesting television here, but I am gonna look for something. A little bit nicer like I don't know that Toscana right there Toscana maybe that's nice maybe it's worth some money maybe I should list that oh man I wish I uh, was in the business of reselling dress shirts on eBay because I think this would be a pretty good score right here but that's not my game banana republic should we take these all out uh, man, I don't know maybe not maybe not <clears throat> Definitely got a seat at the bottom of this if there's anything below it. Well, look at that though. That's a really nice jersey. Like a really high-end jersey right here. Huh, okay. That's nice. This is nice too right here. Aloha line. This looks a little bit older. Extra large, yeah baby. This shirt right here I got out of this locker so... Um, I kind of like that. I'm digging that. Maybe I put a couple pieces aside either to sell and or keep. Got to stay properly hydrated right here. Even though it's cooling down, it's still really, really hot. Okay. Suits. Another thing I know very little about. Okay. Okay, there's some kind of graduation gown right here. This trench coat right here. It's actually really nice. Dang. It's heck of nice. K.R. Joseph? Do you know that brand? K.R. Joseph? It's 
hot as Hades right now, but I'm gonna try this on. Nope. <laughs> nope, not for me. Sweaters. It's kind of nice right here. Look at that. Raiders. This looks like a waterproof jacket. That's pretty nice. Adidas. I think we had a tracksuit right here. Adidas tracksuit. That's nice. We have the pants. Yes, we do. All right, that's good. Cool. Put that in our auction. All right, we're going to go at it this way. Okay. I don't know if this is better, but this is the way we're going. Let's see what we find. Ah, did I not show this already? Okay. It's kind of cool. Little pack bell truck. Another one. Little pack bell truck. I think that's flea market stuff. There's a Marines beach towel. I think. Is that what this is? See that? <laughs> awesome. Flea market. It's a little tore up, so that's going to flea market. Okay, what's this? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Okay, wait a second. Dear Giant season ticket. Oh, Barry Bonds. This was never even open. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's just a little Pac Bell Park. Um, you can see, like, oh, just a Pac Bell Park. Like, it's nothing. I thought it was this Barry Bonds. This might be a little bit better. Made by the Danbury Mint. That's pretty cool. I don't know about value. We'll have to look it up. I'd say this is something to bring home. Do a little research on. All right. How about now? <laughs> Check this out. Oh, that is sold prices. Two of them sold. Check out those prices. That's fantastic, right? Two of them. Okay, they don't sell that often. April, June, but those are some really good prices, right? I, I mean, I'm I'm shocked. I thought it was gonna be like maybe 50 bucks. And then here's one that's for sale right now, not sold, for sale. $197 and that's the only one that's listed for sale. I think we're gonna sell ours quick and I think we're gonna get some good money, all right? But uh, let's keep watching, see what happens next. It's pretty cool. We like collecting this. I think this might be the same thing. Yep, another one, got two, two. That's good, easy to list. And maybe perhaps three. Yup. Same thing. Three of those. That's good. Uh yeah, that's good. Three. That's truck. anywhere from four to five hundred dollars, I'd say, in sales. That's really, really good. There's a few baseballs at the bottom here. Opening day off and a little freebie. A little ATT ball, probably also a freebie, and this one's got someone's Name looks like Enzo Smith. Is that a famous player? I don't know, but probably given to uh, their door prizes or whatever. Yeah, what's this? Look at this. It's nice, smooth, soft. All right, what do you think it is? I think it might be an award. Yeah. Let's do that. It's awfully nice. Look, it's got like a rainbow uh, cast to it, like when the light goes through it. Kind of see it, but. That's not worth nothing. Okay, what's this thing? KJ. Oh, did we see this before? I don't know. All right, what's in this bag here? Ringside products. This thing is so old. It's got tears in it. It's almost like paper thin, like it's been worn so many times. But very cool. This definitely looks like 1970s to me. 1970s, maybe at the earliest 1980s. I think he worked for AT&T for a while. And that, I think, is what this is. Something to do with phone uh, installations. It's called the Tempo. Sidekick Tempo. We should probably look this up. And see if there's any value. Another thing right here. This looks expensive. TS44 Deluxe. It's SBC. A Harris. Harris right there, we should look that up. Okay, got a whole bunch of paint. 
enamel paint white. Let's pull this. Oh, for one second, I don't think I want to do it. I don't know what it does. So. VF13 highlight. I'm not sure what that's for. Okay, another big bag right here. Noyes. See that? Noyes. All right, here's some more. Some kind of testing equipment again. Stuff looks expensive. This actually looks brand new. So Noyes VS300. See that? And it is a view safe scope. All right, next box. Okay. Got some military pins right here. That's good, right? Bunch of pins. Interesting. Okay. Got this hat. It looks old, so he definitely wasn't in the service recently. Looks really, really weathered and cracked right there. Uh, I wonder if you can replace this part. I don't know. All right, we'll get that. Another hat. All right, that's cool. Hat. And a lot more marine clothes. We we already took home a big duffel bag full of marine clothes. And here's quite a bit more. Look at this hat. Belts and ties and stuff to try to keep it together. Oh, face camouflage paint. That's cool. Look at that face camouflage paint. That's nice. I used to use that when I used to, when I was a kid, when I was like in my late teens. I used to use that when we went, uh, you know, I used to buy them just like that too. We would go paintballing. I was really into that when I was like 18. What's this for, guys? I don't even know. Except for, I don't know. I really don't know. A pair of boots, a couple boots. 9R is the size. Those are pretty nice boots. I bet you they're made the last too, because the military knows how to make stuff, that's for sure. All right, this is cool. Look at this. Look at all these patches and pins. That's good. Yeah, sorry guys, but we're going to be selling this stuff. Cool, good stuff. Patches and pins. It's good auction items for us. And, oh, let's save that. Okay, let's see. All right, look at this. We got some fatigues. Fatigues. This is good. All right, we got the jacket. All right, we got a lot of pieces here. They've all been dry cleaned. It's excellent. This is good. We've been listing those online and selling them. Decent money, not huge money, but decent money. Okay, more pieces, more pieces, more, okay, more, 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 lot of them, lots of hats, pants, shirts, jackets, more books here, guidebooks, that's cool, All right, oh, look at this, some stuff on Haiti, looks like he was stationed in Haiti, we already found some stuff from Haiti before, but it's more like souvenir type stuff, Basic course book here. I wonder if we can sell that. And some maps. Hmm. Port of Princess Haiti. Look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> We're down to these two in this locker. If I finish this and we don't find good stuff, I'll go to the other one, but hopefully, we'll find some good stuff here. And yeah, that's not it. This is mostly books. All right, let's see. That sucks. Okay, we do have some camera stuff here. Okay, Maximatic, some kind of camera. MF7000. We've got an old Polaroid. That's cool. One step. Not super expensive, but people still like those. This is good. Portable MP3 player. All right, sharper image. It's good. I mean, it's okay. It's not like, yeah, woo piece of camera yep other than that that's a whole bunch of books which means a whole bunch of uh, recycle right there all right guys last chance for romance this is the box though this is one that we peeked in and we saw some <laughs> tiffany boxes okay i didn't want to say that too loud hopefully you guys heard me all right uh, some kind of calendar american latino tv 2007 featuring Miss 
Letizia, and he's she made it out to him, so that was probably sentimental for him, not for us so much. That's kind of neat, isn't it? Look at that. That's got to be Haiti, right? Port, Port de Pay, Port of Port of Prince, right here. That's Haiti, yeah, or no, Republican um, Haiti. All right, what do I know? Brian Oaks, is this Haiti? <laughs> I know you'll let me know. Looks like it. It's kind of cool. It's got a little sand all kind of glued in. Shells. That's neat. Somebody handmade it, huh? Oh, look at this. Oh, it's got some French, huh? Cherie right here. Okay. Uh, 1994. That's kind of neat. I actually think that's cool. All right, a little different, right? I didn't pay that any attention when we first peeked. At second glance, it looks interesting. So I noticed we'll put some time into it. What is this wrapped around? Huh. Okay. Hey, some somebody took a little pottery class for their kid's birthday or something. Over at the mall. Shooty Babbitt. Oh, Dave Henderson. Wait a sec. A sign, Dave Henderson. That's kind of cool. Is this guy a player? Dave Henderson, all right, that's good. Signed, and Bip Roberts, signed. Yeah. Okay, that's cool, that, that'll go in our auction. Here's a framed basketball stamp. US push stamp of basketball, four cents, 1961. That's kind of neat. That'll go in our auction. There's some playing cards. Oh, check that out. Money, playing cards. That's actually kind of cool. That's going home with me. Right, there's some like credit cards and business cards in there, but inside also, find these pins. This one is a refrigerator magnet, an old one, the flag. This old AT&T pin. And another one. All right, not super exciting, but kind of cool. Let's see. Oh, all right. Lots more pins and magnets. Park Pirates. AT&T USA. Olympics. 2001 Eric, I don't know. That's quite a few pins there. That'll go in our next pin lot for the auctions. That's fun. Okay, oh, another little Pacific Bell van. Put that with the others. This one's in the box though. It's kind of, I don't think it has any value though. Maybe I should look it up. What the heck? What is this? It's a flask. How about that? It looks like a cell phone, it's a flask. It's kind of funny. All right, what's this? Dusty elephant. That's a little different. Trunks up, so I think that's good luck, but definitely a little abstract, huh? It's wood. It's hand carved wood. It's, it's, it's all right. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Oh. All right. BSO. I don't know. I don't know the AT&T. A couple AT&T watches. A little money clip with his initials on it. I think that might be. So, oh, that's oh, that's Tiffany and Company, guys. That's sterling silver. I was just about to say it looks silver. That's Tiffany and Company right there. Heck yeah. Oh, this is too. T and Company, 1887. That's another. It says 925 right at the bottom. <laughs> Things are looking up. Yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah, what's that? Hey, nothing. Flea market. Guys, there's a lot of really interesting stuff in here. Let me get the camera. There's another elephant there. I like that. A couple of them. Pair. Okay, paperwork. Bullet. Right? 
We'll look through it all. A couple little Hot Wheels down here. Whatever. It's cool. Oh, okay, and the Tiffany, yeah, okay, yes, of course, yes, yes, exciting, I know, we're getting to that, but look at all that, look at all these little boxes, this is really interesting, boxes like that to me usually mean uh, watches or pens, I hope watches, should we do this, or should we wait, let's do it, now let's wait, now let's do it, okay, we'll do it. Or should we wait? Don't comment below. <laughs> I know you what you're gonna say. Do it. Okay, this was em uh, light, so I had a good feeling it would be empty, and it does appear to be. Yeah, do we have to pull this out? Yeah, we do. Just to make 100% sure. But I bet you this is what when the money clips came in. Yeah, money clip. Boom. Now this one, Swiss Army knife. What? This one's heavy. Yeah. Okay, that's in there. Sterling silver. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That's a sterling silver Swiss Army knife made by Tiffany & Company. Ooh, razor sharp. Dang. <laughs> Don't want to mess around with that blade. It'll cut you. A little scissors. So cool. Look at that, guys. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful, uh, that makes me happy. I love finding silver. I love finding Tiffany. I love finding knives. The trifecta. Trifecta. Oh, look at that. Swiss Tech Micro Plus. I've been finding a lot of these little uh, miniature uh, multi-purpose tools. I think they're super cool. This one's in the box. Oh, thanks, Captain Obvious. We can clearly see that. Okay. Here. What's up, logging it? All right. I took all the rest of the stuff out, just paperwork and things. Uh, I basically got all down to these boxes. Now let's start seeing what's in these. All right now I'm thinking pen. Pen, yes. Blood source, huh? Is that really a free pen? It's a little bit nicer, but. Oh, man. Oh, okay, cross. Yep, all right. Now we got something a little bit nicer. Cross morph. Please be in there. Please be in there. I'll get that. Oh, whoa. That's actually really nice. Look how nice that is. A cross morph. Well, you know, I'm going to be having a pen lot in my auctions coming up. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about when I say auction, we do a live auction every Monday night at 6 p.m. Sometimes we do a second one midweek. It just depends on if we have enough stuff to auction off or not. And, uh, Sweeta. Sweeta. All right. And so far, so good, right? That's some good stuff. And this locker. All right, it's not a pen. This is a calculator ruler. Oh, that's kind of stupid. Okay, fossil brand. We like that. We do like that. Fossil, brand new. It's this Pacific Bell in it. It's actually too bad. I prefer not to have a a brand other than Fossil on it. What is this? Star Performer. Oh, look at this thing. That's a little miniature clock. It's funny. Okay. Ooh. Okay. What is this? I mean, it's a pen, obviously, but. Right, it's another Pacific Bell thing. Promo pen. They probably give that to their employees. Imperial Armani. Alright, very nice pen. Yeah, alright. This is good. I like finding pens. Nice letter opener and a pen. Cool. Oh, look at that thing. It's pretty fancy. It's all like. Transparent. Nice. Schaefer. That's a good brand. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Good, good. We're going to have a couple lots of pens coming up in our auctions. That's what I think. There's another one of those. Oh, that's nice, too. Stride. Huh. Platinum. That's a nice pen. Look at that. Super nice. 
You guys getting bored with pins yet? I'm not. Huh. Top five. Nice pin. Oh, that one needs to be reset. Another nice pin. Cross. Yes. Heck a nice pin. Look at that thing. It's stinking beautiful. Love it. It's odd. Oh, it's a pencil. Mechanical pencil. Wow. Super nice. Like a really, really nice mechanical pencil. Alright, another one of these. Yep. Oh, whoa, look at those. It's got his initials on it, but so what? Those are really nice. They got a nice feel. Monte Fiore. Huh. I think that's something special. And by special, I mean expensive, of course. Right. No promo pin for Pac Bell. What is this little guy? Okay, little key ring. Cartier. Oh, please, this is a little bit better, yeah? Dang, this could be good. <laughs> Almost the last hot one I pulled out, too. Completely, completely by chance. There's a refill. Oh, my goodness, you guys. That is, that is beautiful. Look at that. Cartier. I've never found anything Cartier before, I don't think. I don't think I have. That looks really nice. And again, by nice, I mean expensive. That looks very expensive. Please be really expensive. Remember, we did find a Prada bag already. And now I found a Cartier pen. That's good. That's good. What's this? Sweeta. We have another piece by that brand. Let's see what we got here. Uh, too bad it's SVC branded, but... um. Yeah, this one's a little warped right here. See that? The rubber's coming out. Hmm. It's too bad. Feels nice otherwise. I think that's going to the flea market, though. I only want the best for our auctions. Not stuff that's damaged. When we can avoid it. Unless it's expensive. Then I'll make an exception. All right. That was great, guys. That was fantastic. But of course... Ooh. Okay. I just saw that. Cartier. $190 price tag on that. That's pretty good for a pan. I like it. All right, I thought that was it, but it really wasn't. Because I put that aside. And we got looking here. All right, what do you think? Dovetailed corners, brass hinges. Is that something special? Let's find out. Okay. Yeah, it is kind of something special, isn't it? I see some metals and stuff in here, see that? That's cool. They all look brand new. They're on like a plastic thing. I almost felt like he was in charge of like giving out medals, and that's why they had so many extras. Like there's that one's been all issued. That's just empty. Bunch of pin backs. That's cool. All right, belt buckle. That's nice. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know what that's for. A little challenge coin or something. That's another one just like that. Hmm. Right. Another one. Decoration set. A bunch of pins here. Did he really get all these metals? Because why would you leave them in the box? I just, I just get the feeling like these are something he was in charge of purchasing and issuing to other officers. Like, why would you need all these patches? A pin, rifle, sharpshooter. What is this here? 1991. Foreign language on there. Huh. Look at this, Bertoni, Milano, Italy. Is this metal made in Italy? 
And for what? What country's military is that for? Huh. Very interesting. Well. Hmm. But then the box right here says Goodwill Industries. That's funny. And here's a little pin for hockey. All right. Interesting little box. That was worth waiting on. All right, guys. It's starting to get a little bit closer to uh, sundown, isn't it? You can tell it's good. the light's getting less bright. Um, I haven't been here too long, but we did get through those six boxes. I didn't even plan it that way. It really got progressively better. Well, the books in the middle was definitely a... <laughs> But the uh, the last two boxes, I think, were the best. The military clothes, maybe not too exciting, but they do sell. And I do like finding that because they sell seem, seem to sell pretty quick and easy. That last box, I knew that one was going to be good because of Tiffany. And actually, I, I did wait on that to one of the last. So it didn't just randomly work out that way. And I saw those Tiffany's. I did wait. But great. Found three pieces of Tiffany. Knife and two uh, money clips. That's really good. That's really good. All those... Uh, watch um well we did find some watches but the pens uh, a couple cross pens a Schaefer and then of course the Cartier really good stuff and if you're skipping to the end and just listening to me talk and didn't watch that well shame on you go back and watch it come on don't listen to me at the end I, I just did a spoiler I should have done spoiler alert <laughs> all right well anyways that wasn't a ton of boxes but it was six more boxes done more great finds more money coming out to try to recoup my investment uh, remember, I'm still down 1900 right? We paid 3100 sold 1200 of furniture, so I'm down 1900 Still got to get that back. And, uh, yeah, we saw a, a few hundred dollars at least in this in this batch. Maybe a little bit better. It'll just depend. Actually, I think a little bit better. I think I think, better. I think 500 bucks. I think so. All right. Well, anyways, my other unit, we've got uh, 25 or so, whatever that was, 25 boxes, 24 boxes. Uh, and those look those have a lot of potential too so the next video we'll start digging in those we're gonna have to wait to see what we find until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on locking nuts